because I'm the world's biggest nerd, um, and when I was a kid I had a model train set, when I saw this, I just had to buy it. Um, I love playing with Hornby, because um, I'm sad like that, um, but anyway, it's just a fairly basic set. It was on sale in Hamley's uh, for 50 quid. Uh, it's just a basic Great Western Railway train with two freight wagons and some sort of carriage. Just a basic track loop with one siding um, and the speed control as well as the power pack on the side. Some blurb there about the locomotive formation um, and the fact that you can buy more track. Um, there on the back, some more marketing rubbish, trying to get you to buy more of their overpriced railways. I mean, Hornby stuff's lovely, but it is bloody expensive. Ooh, warnings in many different languages. Um, and yeah, just some more pictures on that side of the box. So, opening up the flap on this side, with some difficulty. Then reveal a polystyrene tray. I have to be opening it upside down. No, it was only the right way up. That's just the track map. And they're tight. Okay, so getting the box out of the side. Um, in quite a lot of polystyrene, that's quite good. So. If it does move around, it shouldn't get damaged. Some uh, operating instructions, but it's quite simple. You don't really need those. And the track mat. Um, don't really have space to use that. And also a form so you can sign up to the Hornby Club and get a magazine once every two months and a locomotive. So if you like collecting locomotives, that's quite cheap. It's 26 quid. Um, firstly, you get a buffer stop uh, for the siding, as well as some hardware to mount it. We've then got a whole load of double length track curves. Um, just a single set of points for your siding. Um, and a standard curved bit for the siding. And a whole load of straight track there, as well as the points where you power it. and some shorter lengths of straight track. We've then got the I can get it out. Package quite tightly, so again should means you shouldn't get damaged in transit. Speed controller, switch to go reverse or forwards, quite stiff. Um, speed control as well. It's just going to be a basic rear stat. Mains goes in there, then that goes to your track. Then UK mains adapter. Now we get onto the exciting bit, the rolling stock and the locomotive, because that's what it's all about. I have no clue about train classifications or anything, but it's from uh, Port Talbot, which is an ungodly place in Wales where they used to make steel, uh, which was on the Great Western Railways network, I believe. And the next one, Woking, which was also on their network presumably, 1915, that was before uh, the Big Four Railways were created so although the Great Western Railway existed on after that uh, this would be presumably uh, pre-World War Two, uh, pre sorry, World War One rolling stock um, Woking is somewhere I used to live actually, it's a another, sorry not I live, I or when I say live, live there for a few days a few months um, whilst we were having our house sorted by some builders uh, when we had a B extension done. The Great Western Railway locomotive 040, basically meaning has four wheels. Um, I mean, the plastics 
don't feel as solid as I used to remember them, but the detailing's quite good, quite nice mouldings. Um, but then again, it's a fairly basic set, and for 50 quid you can't really complain. It should do the job. And here we go, here's our, well, it's probably going to be a third class carriage. Um, again, the moulding is quite good. Plastic does feel a bit cheap on the set. Wheels are fa uh, fairly free rolling. Yep, fairly basic set. So that's the Hornby Great Western Railway uh, mixed freight and passenger set.